space and a place in my heart only for you. That's the whole heart. Nothing or no one else can take the place of this area, the space, which is a whole heart, that belongs to you. You are my savior, my Lord, and my King, only you. Happy Friday. Oh, the world would call it Friday the 13th, but another blessed beginning of the weekend of May 2022. To God be the glory for yet another opportunity to just spend time in his presence and to do his will. And Ezekiel 3, you know, there are a lot of visions and symbolic language that Ezekiel describes in the book. And it says, moreover, the Lord said unto me, son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll, the scroll, and go speak into the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth and he caused me to eat the roll. And he said unto me, son of man, because thy belly, cause thy belly to eat and fill thy bowels with this roll that I give thee. Then did I eat it, and it was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. And he said unto me, Son of man, go get thee into the house of Israel, and speak with my words unto them. For thou art not sent to a people of a strange speech and of a hard language, but to the house of Israel. Where are you being sent or dispatched today? Wherever you're going, make sure you have the word of God deep in your belly. Yes, make sure that you have taken your nutritional fill of sustenance before you go out. Don't go out on an empty stomach because you will meet challenges that you were not equipped for. How many times have we skipped prayer or skipped the reading of the word or skipped worship and we were ill-equipped for the battles out there. We were weak. We, we reacted instead of responded in the spirit. Yeah. And sabotage met us and we failed. But when we are fortified with the nutrients and the health, life-giving word, whoo, come up, May. When we are prayed up, and when we have the Lord as the focus, yes, nothing can happen. In Psalms 119, 103, again, we know old taste and see that the Lord is good. We know that that is in Psalms 2, but also verse 103, how sweet are thy words unto my taste. Yes, yay, sweeter than honey to my mouth. So this is why Ezekiel said that he had to go out. The Lord dispatched him, and that's why Ezekiel was able to speak the words of the Lord clearly because the Lord is the one who sustains us and feeds us minute by minute, day by day. And we would have gone to Psalms 103. Hey, we know that it starts out with all the benefits, just a few of them, because there's so many more. This, this outlines some of the benefits, but like I said, there are innumerable advantages to serving the Lord. It said, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits who forgives our iniquities, who heals our diseases, who redeems our life from destruction. He protects. So don't be afraid of the summertime and the hot weather. You're going to be dispatched to do amazing things, who crowns thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Come on. We're talking about eating the word, being fortified and fulfilled in the spirit of the Lord and the things of the Lord. He satisfies our mouths our our bodies through what we put in that's why faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of the lord there's something about speaking the word out loud your faith is built up it says who satisfies our mouths with good things that thy youth is renewed like the eagle so i tell you the lord gives us so much to 
feast on throughout our days. Just know that he has great plans for each one of us and he is going to lead us today. So don't be afraid. Your youth is renewed, your vitality, your strength. Even though we have to guide the youth of today, it does not matter as far as what we see downtown happening. Look, we were young before, but they need guidance and love. And we're the ones who will provide the examples and the models for such a time as this. So get ready to be used, but make sure that you have the word of the Lord in your belly. Thank you, Father, that you have chosen each one of us to make a difference wherever you have placed us and where you're going to show us to go in the path today. We just trust you and we are strong in you and in the power of your might. And you get all the honor in our lives. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.